Hello, Commander. Playing the longer game was probably the more desirable decision simply because it was maybe more efficient and, and, and safer in terms of playing against Annihilator and Pofatu, who are themselves very good players, so... Well, we thought they were good, but then they lost a the match and now we're on lock, what? Well, you have good players versus good players. Marshall, we're on lock, what is this? Uh... <laughs> Map GG. Oh, we can't even speak to them. Wow, don't even give a spectator <laughs> chat, rude. Wow, GG. <laughs> Sorian's in chat. Sorian! Sorian! Hi! <laughs> okay, so incontrovertible. Not able to denied or disputed. What? Why would you call a planet that? Nope. <laughs> it's a planet. It's controvertible. Well, yeah, it's a planet. What were you expecting to call it? A fish? I'm pretty sure someone somewhere has called that planet Mr. Why Bumble wouldn't fish? you just call it undeniable or incontestable or indisputable? That makes sense. God, English. Bruh. Controvertible. Why, why would you call your, your, your planet Awesome System? Fight me, that's a good mod. <laughs> it's horrible. Anyway, I think we're in on the right one this time. I hope so. It's not Locke. Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> we're going for real, right. What is this name? Zooming in on furry yet moist. What is, what is this map? This is like something out of vanilla, like creation. This is like something that the Gamma system gives you. Well, all I'm going to say is this is definitely going to be where we're probably going to see some proxy tele strats. I mean, oh, yeah, this is this map is huge and it metal's so spread out. Yeah, definitely. I'm, you can I'm see that you can see where the contestant is going to be. This like eight metal right here. That's I mean, that's going to be big. Mm, the, the the equator all the way around is pretty damn big. I mean, there's there's so much metal on this planet, and it's so open. The air game is going to be very, very important, and the timing of T2 and the method of T2 that you go for is going to be very important here. Whether you go for vehicles and just have a slow and steady push, or whether you go bots. I imagine bots are going to be very, very heavy early on in the game, simply because of the number of trees, mm -hmm. uh, and setting up some proxy bases and establishing control, and then we'll see the transition to T2 thereafter. So. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's just nice and, it's, yeah, the mobility is going to be, mobility is really going to be the biggest kind of name of the game and how these two teams figured out. But, spawning in on the Northern Pole, since I finally get to talk long enough to do the introduction, we have, from the Realm team, the Realm player, the Annihilator, lur, 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 and Pwn for Two. And spawning in on the other side so that Marshall doesn't cut me off so I can continue this wonderful introduction, we have Kazipko from... Best Buy and Walmart, and Admiral General for the yellow team. <laughs> Kazipko is correct. Now, both teams, as predicted, going bots, 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 everywhere bots, 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 and then air as well. And, you know, I'm not the least bit surprised. They're going to want to move off their spawn pretty quickly because there's not a huge amount of metal there. Plus, it's quite widely distributed, so they're going to have a trouble... Uh, defending it, and I think you're gonna see the rushes for those central areas. I mean, was that a ping from from from, from yellow? Yeah, they're they're honestly yeah. what I would, I would say would would be a great decision is just get a teleporter up. You know, just rush your commander over to one of these little um, six or Definitely. eight metal spots and just say, "This is mine. Fight me!" Like, Definitely. why establishing that map control? Yeah, why why try and fight for these little these seriously open areas? Which I mean, like you said, the bases there's really gonna be no solidarity just because. It's 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 just open. There's there's I mean there's like a crack on, like the center of the uh, of the the poles, but that's not going to stop a Dox army from taking some of your metal. They're going to get it. What I'm really I... curious to see though is where the points of content contention are because I mean especially on a map like this, yes, it's three dimensional, so you can technically go anywhere and everywhere on this planet that you want, but like nine out of ten times you'll see players just kind of attack in the same general area like we might see like contention over the six metal spots but then you'll see them fighting over the eight metal spots and that's all we'll see them fighting you know 
it's really it's always kind of interesting on large maps like this where you'll see you know these really heavy metal areas as basically like the lightning rod of where most of the uh, confrontation is just because of their obvious value and actually you know what i would like to see you know what i would like to see marshall what would you like to see ghost thanks for taking the the, the bait i would love <coughs> to see a naval factory as stupid as that sounds think about having like three or four orcas and narwhals just sitting in this little puddle like defending all this metal like, what What will you be able to do against that? Nothing. Uh, well, yeah, but it doesn't get you the rest of the planet. I mean, the only thing Naval is going to go good for here is if you can get up T2 and get the Kaijus going. And I think that's the only reason we'd see Naval on this planet. On this one, players are going to be too preoccupied with reacting. I mean, going back to what you are saying... What is that? There's, 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 no, there's no clear uh, indication as to... Oh, interesting. Okay, well... <laughs> It's it's the biggest pond, so I mean that makes sense. Oh yeah, no, going going hard naval is a silly decision, but I would think like yeah. tier one with orca and narwhal would be a, a good decision for that area of the map. Mm. Eh. Pings coming off from pink saying, "Oh look, they're, they're, they're maybe going into naval." <laughs> oh look, look, they're doing it. Going, going back to what you were saying about the whole, um, you know, not knowing where they're going to fight because it could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we're going to see the reaction game coming in. It's going to be a case of the each team is going to be keeping up their scouting. They're going to be saying, "Oh, this team is expanding here. Let's go and contest that," while just building up in our base and pushing forwards. So I think it's going to be a very oh oh good trade there game. by the uh, the big pond. Three uh, hummingbirds just disappeared into the night, and this one Faber is gonna die. Oh, unfortunate! The bomber dropped his payload just before keeping that uh, naval factory at bay. I mean, we did see earlier that there were so many fireflies out from pink, and the same is true of yellow now. And it's, it's as I said just a minute ago, keeping up the intel on this map is going to be so essential because there are so many of those high-value expansion points. And look on this side though, yellow pushing out and actually getting a whole bunch of good expansions and pink are just neglecting this side of the map almost completely. This is where, I mean, Planetary Annihilation shines. If you're not able to think in a three-dimensional view, I mean, you're going to have a bad time. This isn't just a square map that you can fight on. You're going to have to worry about the metal in, well, I you can't really call it a backyard anymore. I mean, <laughs> your backyard is someone else's front yard in this situation because, I mean, it's it's a giant... It's a giant circle! So, I'm really curious to see how, I mean, if Pink Team continues to neglect this, um, that, you know, like the, the metal you pinged on, that's going to be a big deal. And they, we might see a 2-0 just because of that. That just inability to think, you know, uh, three-dimensionally. Yeah. I mean, looking at what Pink Air doing, trade. Though, yeah, I'm, I'm watching it. And I mean, Pink have been bombing a lot of yellow fabbers. They've been doing a lot of sort of blocking, as, as it were, of expansions. But, I mean, they have kind of neglected that side. If we look from their point of view, they actually haven't scouted that side whatsoever. So they don't know anything about what's going on over there. So They've actually uh, stopped sending pretty, fireflies out as well. Blind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good that they've got all the combat fabbers, though, because they're getting all the tree economy, but... When when you start to get up your air production, you can just use your regular air as scouting and to maybe try and displace your opponent's air force as well. I mean, that's also a viable strat. When uh, when people are, are fleeing with their air force, you chase them and you get free scouting because they're not bothering to engage your air force. So, Looking at map, uh, just kind of vision right now, I mean, yellow is everywhere. I mean, I can, I can look at pink's entire base. Oh, wait, tier two, hello there. Tier 2 bots, the uh, first choice out of the pink side here. I don't think we see t any sort of tier 2 from yellow, so if they can get this up, they'll have a nice little window of um, kind of like a power play, but at the same time, the travel time is also another factor that players have to take in because of how big this map is. Yeah, you've got slammers out, but those guys are not docks. You know, they, they have to waddle across the planet, and probably by the time you get to your opponent's base, they might actually have their own tier 2 bots up by that. Or maybe even tier 2 vehicles, and we might see a counter leveler push. Indeed, indeed. Now notice over here, Yellow are making another play for another strategic hard point with the Pelican Faber drop and getting some free expansion there, which is going to uh, pay real dividends later on. That's 8 metal there, so 8 lots of 7. So 8 metal plus the 8 in the water, because they, they do have another Faber there now that it's starting to pick well, all of it up. They haven't built all of it, but the point is that right. this, this 8 here is, is, is going gonna, is gonna to be a, a lot easier to defend than the stuff in the water. Um, they've got they've got the air there, um, but I mean I there's the T2 bots from yellow though. Um, 
what I did see though was a whole bunch of air factories queued up. I think from yellow they they've changed that queue now and they've gone heavier on the bots probably as a result of 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 seeing that pink aren't going super heavy on the air necessarily and realizing that they need to start pushing out. I'm a little concerned here for pink. They've they've been sitting on these uh, these metal treasures I think for about two minutes now. I've been kind of keeping an eye on it, but they haven't sent a single fabric to try and capture it. And, some of the places that yellow have just kind of ignored, I really think that pink needs to kind of take the uh, opportunity uh, advantage to just capture it. I mean, if no one's fighting for it, why not be the person that takes it? There's nothing wrong with just taking free metal. Ah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And there's actually a lot of metal around there sort of... Oh, uh, it's a spectator. Um, there's a lot of metal around the place that pink could be claiming and haven't really yet. I mean, Oh, we do have three fabrics moving. There's these metal on this side, you know what I mean, are, are kind of beginning to push out though with the uh, with the turrets on that side, which is really good mm -hmm. to see. But... They're, they're doing the turret creep again, <laughs> which, I mean, I hate it because I see it in multiplayer and it is just the bane of my existence, but it's <laughs> it's so smart to do because docks just don't break through tier 2 turrets quickly. They're just not that powerful. Uh, some yellow bomb or docks though, they got caught out in the open and that's a lot of bombers kind of dancing around them. Mm. Boom, down they go, and I mean, they, I think they lost, Pink lost maybe one bomber for all of those docks, so it always sucks to lose a bomber, but it's still a worth trade. Yeah. Tier 2 almost up for Yellow, and I believe it has been up, oh, wow, Pink is actually going to finish their Tier 2 at about the same time Yellow is, <laughs> so, that, I mean, that's that's a big deal, I mean, Pink starting so much earlier than Yellow, I, I thought they'd, they'd have their Tier 2 up for probably a minute or something before Yellow actually got theirs up, but... Economically, Yellow have actually been running this economy game pretty well. I mean, they're almost up 200 metal on them. Mm. That's just their all air expansion. I mean, look at this. They're even encroaching on Pink's own expansion, which is theirs by sort of proxy rights. But they aren't necessarily scouting as much. I mean, Pink are so focused on trying to make the pushes and consolidate the areas they have, whereas Yellow are saying, eh, we're going to be everywhere else. Right, it's okay to lose two or three metal extractors as long as I can capture eight more, you know, that you're not fighting for, and they're doing Precisely. that very well. Precisely. Though, and... not gonna give it up though, Pink, they're, they're, they're thinking about it. They have some fabbers that are sitting here and, you know, contemplating about what do I really, what are metal extractors? You know, what, what is the meaning behind them, Marshall? Metal extractor. What do they do? Holy! One, one does not simply. Marshall, please, just four bombers. Give them to me. Oh my god! <laughs> just five bombers, man. That's all I need, and they're gone. That's not great going over the glatter, and that's what I said about that area being. So, oh boy. Um, oh wow. Okay. Um. I think you have a fan, Marshall. <laughs> Pink's just like step. <laughs> Good. At least, at least there's like, yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Ooh, ooh. But, oh, but yeah, Marshall. I mean, they, they, it's it's good that they managed to the uh, they bombed the Faber, and those docks are now moving in, which is really super good. Um, oh, that yeah, that that those eight metal extractors are. Yeah. That's a big deal. I mean, that is that is a very strong keystone for Yellow's economy. Down goes fifty six. See that vocab word though. I like that. I mean, I like that Pink hasn't given up. I'm, I'm, oh god, I keep seeing these like 15 fabber, bot fabbers, they're just, oh my god, they just oh, need some bombers. Oh, oh, oh. oh, but that bomber Pink though. Pink with the locusts though. Pink with the locusts though. But I painted by it. Why am I painting my bar? Uh, looking at the armies tab, we have a fabric count of 40? Almost 40 fabbers just everywhere. I mean, it doesn't you, surprise me, it's a massive planet with so much that's going That's so on. good to see though! Planet. Like, in 1v1s, you know, on like, on like, lock, you know, you lose one faber out of three, that's huge! <laughs> you lose one faber out of 41? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so? I mean... But it's not just the number, it's also the location of those faber. Oh, like, of course, of course. is super far forward and is trying to make a good play. Oh, yellow finding all of the air. Oh, the bombers too! That, that's a good trade for you. That was, like yeah, I that was very nice. Earlier, Sorry, you were saying was... about uh, meanings and the value of a faber in position. Yeah. If a faber gets taken out on the front lines, and it's going to take you time to get a faber to that. So it's not only killing the faber, but it's also killing the time. Yep, the T2 is real. They've already got a T2 up. So they're sort of consolidating their T2 presence there. I am, I'm, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on these locusts, because it's just a matter of time until these bad, until these bad boys start moving, but... 
Pink haven't tried to recapture the eight metal that the uh, docks went in and kind of purged. They need to. I mean, their economy just their economy needs it. Just simply yeah. put, they they're, they're trying to consolidate the T2 in their base, but I don't think it's quite enough. I mean, there's enough T1 mechs around this planet to give you, you know, enough production to stave you on sort of gradual T2 rather than a, a spike T2, as it were. <clears throat> Well, I think that's just players kind of need to be able to cater, to cater to the planet instead of catering to the meta. Because, I mean, this is definitely a map that everything is very spread out. Travel time matters. Like you said, uh, one fabric getting picked off that's on the equator instead of having to send one that's at the north or south pole matters. You know, position just matters. And trying to stick with this, oh, yeah, I've got uh, I've got tier two and I'm, I'm capturing like four, oh, like a metal extract. Oh, hang on, though. What's this? Random, random little vehicle push, you know coming out of nowhere i like it but it's 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 gonna be nice but i mean eh, it's okay i think an air army would clean that up pretty quickly though if uh yeah there's a single tank really wanted to focus down hummingbirds don't get yeah the air, the air army is actually coming back for it they uh pink <coughs> did see the slammers though so that's a big you know info grab there but this is a big force from yellow that is just getting so much intel right now. I think we've seen some locusts on the move. Yeah, we've seen some from yellow. I think pink moved theirs off somewhere. Yeah, pink's, pink's locusts are all the way over here trying to chew through some stuff, but they're going to be met with a whole bunch of turrets. Will they really, though? That turn time. Yeah. Uh, well, the ones that are set like positionally in the right, you know, in the right position, those those are going to clean up these locusts, no problem. Yeah, that's not that's that's the advantage of taking a choke point. Those those spinners or the uh, hummingbirds just flew straight over the those like three uh, anti air turrets. That was a little bit interesting. <laughs> this this one locust has it. Oh, never mind. So we have a counter locust push now, but they're going to be running literally right into pink's locusts here. Really yeah. curious about that. <laughs> locust locust wars. <laughs> Who can nom nom the hardest? And it looks Why like does uh, pink. Locust War remind me of the Mysterons from Captain Scarlet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it reminded me of that. It's maybe just the shimmering colors or something. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from Captain Scarlet references, I currently I think Yellow is certainly in the stronger position. Pink is certainly not out of this by any account, but Yellow need to start pushing in. They're currently just sort of, you know poking the kidney as it were making making pink flinch they're, they're doing the same really thing that they did hurting. last game which was they're 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 still trying but they're not really doing they're kind of they're, exactly. they're playing more reactionary again they're starting to fall back into that mindset of last game <laughs> holy yeah. turrets batman like yeah. <laughs> if i was a dog so i would just say no nah, sorry calm i'm not going towards that that's just bad news <laughs> Yellow even acknowledging that, saying, "Oh my goodness, that's a proxy base." They know. Maybe try and deal. Yeah. With. yeah. They just. They. I. I would be interested to see. <gasps> oh no, the fabbers! Oh, they're getting gunned down in the street. Oh. They, they've got factories right next to it, though, so it's not a big loss. Oh yeah, I mean they still have another 14 building more bot factories, so. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I personally would be really interested to see some kernels. I think kernels. Yeah, do actually. Some nice pushes. Yeah. That. Especially with proxy bases, Uber fix service, please. Yeah, yeah I agree. it's getting there. It's, it's 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 getting to that slowdown. We we might see we might see just a just a salty Ragnarok because. I mean that that's the problem with massive planets and so many trees and so much metal is you know there's there's, you just get mega bases. Mmm, one twenty two metal isn't too bad. I mean I've seen maps this big with like six hundred. Now let's talk about metal that's issues. Because you play on awesome system. No 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 no. This was some some guy on the internet made it. Don't don't throw me into. No, the awesome uh -huh. system is a good system. <laughs> Fight me. Let's let's move back into into this game. So we've right. got <laughs> we've got bot factories going up left, right, and center. Continual air factories going up and up and up, which is really good to see that they're still investing in the air game from yellow. Pink doing the same thing though. We have got an idle commander over here though. Just a lot of interestingly, but uh, pink has actually uh, meshed quite a few bombers into the air force. So yellow has the bigger like anti-air army, but as long as pink can kind of keep theirs away from that giant evil yellow army, they can get some serious work done with all these bombers. But as they say that here comes the doom hammer because this this army should disappear unless they can trade well. 
Can I point out though, there are locusts just sort of wandering around all the mech sites, just chewing them up, saying, yeah, we're, we're just gonna mop up all of this sort of outlanding... I mean, it's a great all. idea, locusts are just, they're delicious! They're, they're, they're really nice to uh -oh. just get there and avoid bombers and, and deal with all of that. Oh my god, the air, the air, the air! It's taking down five dogs! I'm going over Galata and Galata and more Galata, which isn't great. <laughs> yeah, great, okay, yeah. Five docks for um, half your air army. Yeah, that's worth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone at once. Oh my god. Good. Just, just. This is why only two spectator slots, but whatever. Ayla Mao. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I haven't seen new tier two. That's something we we still have uh, very I... heavy tier two bot. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. Here, I was I was gonna say like at this point we need to start seeing those like heavy you know super the strong pushes, base yeah. kill pushes. Yeah. We need to see some that, levelers that will, or something. It'll that'll promote a reaction from your opponent. They'll say, oh, there's an army there. We need to deal with that. But right. Being it's... The one who instigates that reaction gives you the upper hand because that means that you can say, oh well, we're going to instigate this reaction from them. But we can cater into that reaction to be able to deal with what the how they'll react to it, and therefore be able to push in. So that'll, yeah, that what really you said, yeah, <laughs> that 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 block. Oh boy. Oh, oh the lag. Ooh. Yeah, it started hit started to hit me. That we still have the spark. I mean, I like this decision to use these sparks instead of like using raiding docks. I mean, it's it's so <laughs> nice. Oh wait, yo yo yo. Dog or er, locust fight. Yeah. Locust fight. It's oh, like pink numbers, killing it though. Numb. Yeah. <laughs> Greater numbers win in Locust War. Oh, but then they run into docks, great. rip. Yeah. It's not hugely efficient trading there, but oh well. Pink? Like, yellow is also taking a leaf out of Pink's book there, just going around and nabbing a whole bunch of, you know, single lowly mechs that's on its own. Pink's knocking on the base door. That's, I mean, I usually look at that as a sign of something's going on here. I mean,. Yes, they haven't like they haven't lost any commanders, and actually, there's a commander. He's in the Great Lake, um, but usually when you see that, that's that tells me one of two some things: either Yellow isn't getting enough vision to counter that, like normally, or the the micro and the attack damage. We these locusts, I swear to God, they keep like fighting each other at the weirdest moments. Um, the the you know the macro and yes, the efficiency is at 58, 60 percent. But they're able to find these little nooks and crannies, and they're, yes, Pink has kind of been, uh, we can, I think it's safe to say that they've been kind of on the lower pedestal here for most of this game. They're not dead yet, and they're, they still have a chance, and actually, the way that this army is positioned, this is a possibly exposed commander, and of course, then there's two pelters that say, how about no? No, that, that commander isn't going to die. Really. No, I, 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 he, they, if they saw him, I think they could have yellowed for him. If they would have, if they would have yeah. dodged the first Uber cannon. U Uber, Uber cannon would have. Yeah, if they could have dodged it, maybe. Or defending air. Like, oh, there's a oh. Few bombers around, so. Yeah, oh, never mind. They started to move. I was going to say, I see some docks, and I see like some just hummingbirds having a coffee break. Back Let's at talk the about docks. Lots of yellow forces encroaching on Pink's base, and there's no defense here. There's only bombers, and it's going to take, you know, a few seconds for Yellow's air force there's to There's slammers in that army, too. Comes. Yeah, exactly. There's slammers there, there's infernos, and ants as well, plus spinners in, uh, in one Ooh, of the Ooh, this, is, this is bad. This is, this is going to hurt. The, I, this is honestly, I think really this is game-ending damage. If, this, if these slammers <laughs> stay alive and cut off, I don't know, let's say f uh, five air factories, that's game. They if they lose the, if they lose five air factories that's gonna just completely destroy their air force and that will give yellow the ability to start making bombers basically willy nilly and what are you gonna do at that point? F um, air fabbers why not just reclaim I mean at least you can reclaim the slammers I mean it's not gonna really help much but at least you'll get some economy. Oh yeah, this their, base their is gone. Economy has been in the toilet for so so very long and they just don't have units here to support this they they invested too much in the forward base and just having. I think docks everywhere rather than making substantial pushes and they they didn't sort of adapt to the stage of the game that they were in. This yeah, this is this is game ending damage. I mean, yes the commanders are still alive, but at what cost, Marshall? At what cost? It's it's all it's, it's all coming. They're still building air fabrics, just by the way. I don't know why, but they're still doing it. They have six of them now. They're just you know, whatever what are you gonna do about it? The the 
Yeah. I mean, it's so the, not just a case of this being game ending damage, but I mean, the, the, just look at the mobile unit counts 460 to 180. Let's, let's assume for a sec that the air forces are semi equal, which they're not, but if they were, then let's have a look at the ground forces. The majority of the ground force of pink is a docks here, a docks there, on planet wide patrol of all things. Oh, Why? oh, lordy, that's not good. Um, by the way, yellow is getting tier 2 naval in the pond. I mean, I, I didn't even say that that was a good decision, the but they're doing it, just by the way. It's, it's not going to get to the point where it's going to really come to Well, the, I mean, the when you have flame tanks in your opponent's, you know, production line, I mean, does it really matter? <laughs> oh, really? There is one bomber, though. They finally realize that building air fabbers is a bad decision, and they're just, they're trying to get some work done here, but... They, I mean, at this point... Well, no, they can't kill the commander. I don't think they have enough units, but... Oh my goodness, this yellow air army is just massive. That's that's not good. This this is this has been GG. Yeah, that that uh, that Oh, hello there yellow commander. I didn't notice that you decided to walk all the way to the uh, eight metal extractors. Gets cleans up the docks and actually <laughs> actually he was pink, in the pond from ages ago, so he just walked Pink's over building a pelter to try and scare off the commander. Oh, I hear an explosion. I'm pretty sure that was the pink. Wait, what? Yeah. GG's a call. Cool. Yep, there we go. Valiantly fought, but I just think they failed to adapt to. They couldn't. The yeah, they couldn't realize that it's it's a big game. This isn't lock. This isn't forge. You gotta you gotta respect the planet, man. I must admit, I don't really like giant planet games because they're slow, they're drawn out, they lag. Please don't air spam anymore, GG. <laughs> I think. Hot the size of the planet could have. I think. <laughs> what is this? Like a seven, eight hundred radius planet. I think maybe if this was like a five, six hundred radius, you know, not not as big, but still, you know, like maybe Duat size. I think that would be a good size for a two v two map. Yeah. The metal. I mean, metals. You know, like spread out like this. I like. I like the the style of this map. The size. I do agree. Is maybe a little bit on the big. She's a big girl. Oh well. Hey guys, it's Ghost here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and make sure to turn up that audio because we're about to kick it. Goodbye. 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 Okay, goodbye.